creation of a large public arts project such as Fertile Ground would be an unthinkable feat for just one artist. Its physical size and public nature necessitates community collaboration through every step of the process. Every individual that participated in the mural uh, in, in the forefront and in behind the scenes also re represented the sort of soul of this mural, but also the, uh, the sort of wide and vast uh, network of support that was necessary for us to be uh, successful and for, I, in my opinion, any successful public art project. Any, any sort of uh, artistic project that is uh, larger than you can do in the studio is purely an act of, collab of collaboration. And, and however you uh, can do that, um, the better your work is going to be. When she went out, she asked people what their opinions were. She wanted to know what they thought, what they felt, and then she made that her work. And so it's, it's actually everybody's work, this mural, because it's, it's the community's decision as to what went in the mural, because it was the things that she heard from multiple people. And I think that that's the real value, a real value in that mural. Art within communities has a lot of moving parts. It can be um, sort of a hairy business but it is also full of great rewards. How many times um, do people come together within a community and create something together, create something beautiful together? So there's huge power in that. There's power for change, there's power for growth. If we're good at promoting a creative exchange, we will find what people have to offer. And it's, it's quite often a surprise and always a gift. For the Bema Center, the, the community partnerships that we create, whether or not they're strategic or things that come about through conversations we have with community members, is a true component that happens within Omaha specifically that's very unique to the city. The, it, it, I think it represents the, the sort of genuine enthusiasm and generosity of the, the businesses and individuals that want to become part of something that is really making a huge impact on this city. Uh, Energy Systems Company being a good neighbor to our customers and to the Creighton University campus and to the Omaha area, uh, we, we decided that it would be very important for us to be a part in something that would be a public art project as this. We are extremely proud to have the mural on the side of our building to be the canvas for that and we're really excited and proud to have been part of the process. It seemed like the whole city was involved. Local archives brought the history of Omaha to light, and local people serving as models helped bring it to life. A local foundation delivered the funds, while a downtown company provided a canvas. Among a myriad of other needs, paint supplies, barricades, scaffolding, professional services, food and labor were all attained locally. In all, there were nine project partners, 26 business partners, six subcontractors, 10 assisting artists, and 75 volunteers. More than 11,000 man hours were spent working on the project. I'm a mural character in the painting. So when she called me and asked me to be in it, I was honored, but I was also a little nervous. I, I didn't know what to expect, and I thought, you're gonna be 20 feet tall on this mural. That was a little inhibiting, but I thought, sure, what the heck. So she invited me over to do the photo shoot, and she asked me to bring a few different changes of clothing, so we did the photo shoot, that was really fun. I, I was honored to be asked to be in it. When uh, Meg had started the project and she was talking about doing design, she invited me to come down actually to the Bema Center and uh, she put me in a variety of different positions and photographed along with a lot of other people. And so I had no idea that I would actually end up being in the mural, but lo and behold, there I am. Well, I had not told Lizzie or anyone in, in our family that I was gonna be uh, in this mural. And in fact, my figure was, had been up already. And all of a sudden she says, you're on the wall. What are you doing on the wall? I'm gonna tell mom you're on the wall. So it was kind of fun for her to, to see it and me to experience it with her like that. And she kind of started running around, you know, she's two and a half, and uh, Meg was shooting another family and she kind of stopped, asked the other family just to hold on and, cause I guess she saw something going on with the Maya, so, and I was trying to calm her down, you know, control her, so I, I squatted down and 
tried to get her, get her to sit down and Meg just started shooting and then and all of a sudden she said she's done with us, you know, <laughs> right before, so kind of refreshing to know she, she was taking that kind of angle on it. Well, Hallie, who is who works at Film Streams, she's our membership associate. Uh, she uh, she's in the mural. She's uh, she's on the left side. She's in the yellow dress, and so she's very very proud to be in the mural. <laughs> she's always and and people always kind of recognize her. And when you're designing and putting this all. Um, all these images, thousands of photographs we had into one image, you sort of factor in all these things. You factor in the aesthetics, you factor in where someone is living, you factor in the position that they're in and the light source that's on their head and you sort of bring it all together to try and tell a unique story. You know, I believe that Meg's mural really captures the spirit of the history of Douglas County. And it really conveys that in a very artistic way, but also in a very accurate way. Just by looking at the mural, you can see the vibrancy of the community and also some of the activities that have gone on through the history here in Douglas County in Omaha. Well, I love the mural uh, because of my art history background. I can really see what she was trying to do. And I have a great appreciation for the idea of connecting the past and the present and the future. Um, it's very similar to, it's like a museum on a wall almost, because it's, it's connecting the past with the present and preserving it for the future. And that's really what art does. I definitely think Fertile Ground has had an impact on North Downtown. I mean, there's the obvious aesthetic impact. Um, it is much more interesting to look at this beautiful, you know, well thought through mural that is really kind of uh, kind of reflects our community than uh, than a blank wall. It's infinitely uh, better experience uh, walking down uh, 13th Street as a result of the mural. In 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 a neighborhood, especially um, like North Downtown, where there's not a ton, there wasn't a ton going on initially. You kind of have to invent it. You kind of have to build it from the ground up. Um, I think uh, initiating that process with, uh, with um, a community arts project is ideal because it really, it starts with sort of the heart and soul of the community. Art is important to the quality of life of a community. Um, arts activities are important to the quality of life of a community. So the fact that we have the Bemis Center and a symphony and the a children's the, the rose at children's theater and um, the holland center and the orpheum and that there are so many activities going on here all the time not only arts activities but intellectual activities like speakers um, is a is a is a huge asset to the community this square up here in the middle the very top is that it's a piece of fabric is that why it takes the light differently or that's exactly what it is. It's a piece of fabric. It takes a light different. That's there because we had we thought what is a we had never post done the posterized technique with a cloud. No. Totally not worth it. But we were just <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. The very fabric of fertile ground is interwoven with the people who have through the years called Omaha home. Its content, its very essence, is derived from the community, acting as one people and businesses generously gave their resources to assist Seligman in completing the project. This true collaborative effort makes an important statement about what the city represents, giving greater meaning to the story depicted in the mural. The residents of Omaha can now take pride in their efforts and enjoy the positive change that Fertile Ground has brought to their city. Thank you.